Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C, and let's go ahead and keep going through FS port. We're under general quarters because a fighter patrol detected advanced ships from the Lucifer fleet what, approaching no the Suda Prime. Somehow the Shivan forces have circumvented our blockade at Antares, and now control the Deneb system. We're en route to Deneb as we speak. ETA is 35 minutes. So when you leave here, report to your wing station for immediate mission briefing. Okay, the so itself is behind the Vanguard force, so we looks like we might be facing the Lucifer here soon. Uh, my little mm -hmm. big the battle over the Neb should be happening. Has been completed, and the Galate has received a compliment of these fighters. It is I'm the sure most we'll maneuverable craft ever developed by the PBN or the GTA, and it should be extremely useful in this next series of sorties. It can also be equipped with the Prometheus Cannon, the most powerful cannon weapon we've ever developed. Use them both well. Okay, so we've got the Prometheus now, which uh, should make this a little bit easier. It's actually better than the Avenger. We're going to attempt to capture actually considerably fighter. better than the Avenger. Suit up and report to your wing stations for briefings immediately. So let's see what happens here. And the Shivans have established quite a base of operations. I'm not entirely sure. I like the idea of. Learning more about the Sheevans, considering as well as several repair the last the two fighters. times we had one which got each an insulation destroyed, and the other got the entire crew that was boarding that freighter destroyed. Cruiser in the area. All fighters in the area around the Shakti are damaged and in need of repair. This makes them easy targets. One of our objectives in this mission is to put this repair station out of commission. This will greatly reduce Sheevan capability in the Deneb system. One of the fighters being repaired by the Shakti is a Dragon-class fighter, designated Arjuna-1. The Dragon is the Sheevan's most maneuverable craft and the most dangerous. Intelligence has requested that we capture the Dragon for research purposes. Since the Arjuna-1 Dragon is very low on power, it is in a weakened state. And is the best candidate okay, so we're going to try to just capture a fighter. Arjuna one by destroying its engine subsystem. I guess keep going smaller until either the Shivans don't care or they Once blow Arjuna up the planet. Once Arjuna one has been disabled, the Charon will dock with it and jump back to the Galate. We must capture Arjuna one. We cannot allow it to be destroyed. To this end, we've equipped your craft with an advanced disruptor cannon. Use it to take out its engines. All right, so it looks like I'm going to have to tell my Since this fighter is wing so to uh, we're sending only Alpha and Beta to attack. Ignore alpha will that cover fighter beta until the Shakti has happens. been destroyed. Then Alpha will attempt to disable Arjuna One. So I think I'm going to try and just go right out and disable Arjuna One immediately, Arjuna one, just because I have be bad images of this running over Bastion, again. Only send them in because uh, some sort of a fuck However, up like that, can do it without their help. where my wingmen blow things up. Because we are custom outfitting your ship, you will not be able to customize your loadout. You have your orders. Dismissed. Okay. Beta wing starting attack. Cover us, Alpha. Yes, sir. Disregarding target. Oh, and... Oh, shoot. Probably actually order a beta wing to uh, destroy that, and uh, actually, I'm just going to hope that they cover beta. There we go. Okay, let's switch back to the Prometheus and see what we can do here. Actually, let's just do just do Prometheus only. That should do considerably more damage than uh, trying to use a disruptor. Oh shit! What exploded? Oh, the cruiser exploded. Oh fuck, I need to be a little bit more careful. Alright, I guess, yeah, these cargo containers can be scanned. 
So let's see if I can get bonus points off scanning these things. Dragon parts. What is this, Skyrim? Oops. There we go. Shit, 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 shit. Warp drives. So this is Star Trek. Freighter here. Well, shit. All objectives accomplished. Return to base. I didn't even notice it warp in. Oh well. Let's go ahead and jump in, and looks like I might do another two-parter because this was not very long at all. Work, Alpha One. We've destroyed a Shivan repair depot and no recommendations, even engine. though I did Sheevan destroy that freighter. Our technicians are currently working on reverse engineering it. Well, let's go ahead and see what comes from that, if anything. We have now entered the Deneb system. After your investigation of the Lucifer at Antares, Terran Command has deduced that the Shivans will be attempting a multiple pronged attack on Basuda Prime, coming from Deneb and Antares. The Intrepid and the Minnow will be in charge of protecting the Antares Vesuda Prime node, while the Galatea and the Bastion will be guarding Deneb. Okay. So we'll be sitting in Deneb and trying the main to force stop the them from will come through reaching Antares, the Suden homeworld. Lucifer. A smaller secondary force led by the demon class destroyer Eva will come through Deneb. The okay, so uh, you're saying Deneb we won't have node. to deal with so Lucifer. So. Have to be at the Deneb Vesuda Prime jump node. Finding and destroying the evidence. We know Terran intelligence is reliable priority. with this sort of thing, so I guess I'll be it. As you know, we captured a Shivan Dragon class fighter in Beta Ankole. Our technicians have retrofitted this alien fighter with Terran instrumentation and gotten it into working condition. However, there are a few flaws with our redesign. We could not get the Shivan weaponry to operate, so this fighter has been equipped with Terran weaponry. We also could not properly operate the lateral thrusters or afterburners, so the ship's maneuverability is limited. We also have had some difficulty with the Shivan engine systems. In test runs, the Dragon broke down for short periods of time. We are looking into this problem as we speak. The capture of this Shivan fighter will bring great strides in fighter technology. So to they alignment. captured a broken fighter and are wondering why most of the systems don't work. Hell, they can't get the engines to work after they told me to destroy them. In this mission, we oh, will be using so I get to fly it. Dragon class fighter on a scouting mission in the Dinette That's system. great. The Sheevan seem to be bringing in a large number of vessels into the Dinette So I'm going to be spying on the Sheevans. We believe this is in preparation for a preliminary assault on Vasuda Prime. Because the Sheevans have tight control over the Vega Deneb jump node, we cannot send in a Terran scout. By flying the Sheevan Dragon, we believe you will they be able to slip in They believe I will undetected. be able to get in unde undetected. That's great. There are four Sheevan fighters in the area, maintaining tight patrol. If you come into close range with these fighters, they will certainly scan your ship, Oh, I your think I remember this mission. Fire. Avoid contact with any of the Arjuna fighters. I don't think I've Arjuna ever actually uh, maintaining consistent patterns in their patrol. Successfully finished this mission before, so we'll see how this goes. On arrival, observe their flight pattern and plan your course to avoid contact. In the event that you are engaged by Arjuna Wing, return to the Galatea immediately. Your primary objective is to conduct a close scan of all ships that pass through the Vega Deneb jump node. This includes warships, freighters, and transports. Try to determine the contents of any cargo containers in the area as well. So this looks like it'll be a problem. We have reason to believe that a Shivan Demon Class destroyer, the Eva, will be passing through this area. If it does, it is imperative that you scan it. Remember that your fighter is only partially functional, and its flight systems will behave unpredictably. Be careful. Command out. That's great. So I can't really tell where they're going because all I get is this little bracket. Too 
bad we don't have a stealth fighter or something. I'm gonna see if I can just go straight in and get this done. Not, I might actually have to cheat and look through a walkthrough and do this mission again later. So we'll see what happens. I have, have a distance indicator on the HUD to tell me, like, where these spiders are without having to actually target them. Okay, looks like we got oh, we some ships jumping in. Arrived. See if I can scan the cargo or something. Bomb systems. I don't know, wouldn't my flight pattern also, like, even without scanning me? I'm getting right up on these guys and scanning them. I mean, that's gotta set off some alarm bells or something. Okay. I have no idea where these fighters are. Sealed systems. Two more cargo containers to scan, plus one destroyer when it jumps in. Now is, uh, I guess, a destroyer. And I'm going to try and kind of put some distance here because I don't know when that destroyer is going to come. And I really don't want to use time accelerate because I'm afraid of those uh, fighters, like just uh, coming in right on top of me while I'm time accelerated. In fact, I should probably. Okay, new inbound. More freighters just jumped in. Fucking serious, more freighters. Our tuna wing has detected your presence. Get out of there! Oh great. Well, failed it again. I think. You were unable to stay in the area long enough to get a clear reading on the Shivan attack force. This failure will cost us dearly. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and see what I can do, uh, look up some guides and all that. So until then, this is Trekkie171C signing off. Uh, please remember to subscribe and comment.